Have you ever woke up in the middle of the night with your hands completely numb? Maybe you have to change positions or shake your arm out just to get the feeling back? What causes that? Yesterday, I talked about the case of a 32-year-old female who was having that same exact problem. She was having some discomfort in her elbow that radiated to these two fingers with associated numbness and tingling. Sometimes she was even thinking that her hand was weak. She has what's called cubital tunnel syndrome or also known as ulnar neuropathy. That sounds fancy. The ulnar nerve is an incredibly important nerve in our arm. It starts in our neck and runs all the way down our arm and it crosses under the elbow. It passes under the medial epicondyle of our humerus through what's called the cubital tunnel and it goes down into the hand to supply the sensation of these two fingers. Some people call the humerus the funny bone. <laughs> But we all know that if we hit the funny bone in the wrong spot, it is not funny. And that's because you banged your ulnar nerve. What causes ulnar neuropathy? Any pressure or inflammation in the nerve can cause these symptoms. Anytime you bend your elbow, you're putting that nerve on tension. That's why some people that sleep with their elbows bent can wake up in the middle of the night with these sensations. And if you straighten your arm, the symptoms get better. People that have jobs that repetitively bend their elbows or rest their elbows on things like the patient that I presented can worsen those symptoms. My patient worked on a computer all day, so she's constantly resting her elbows and bending her elbows to type. Other risk factors are swelling in the elbow, cysts, arthritis, or bone spurs, or prior trauma to the elbow. If the pressure has been severe, you can actually get weakness in your hand and wasting in the muscles in this portion of your hand. Some things to help improve your symptoms at home are avoiding anything in which you keep your elbows bent or flexed for long periods of time. And do things like your mom probably told you, don't rest your elbows on the table. And that could be something simple that we often overlook, like resting your elbows on the center console in the car when you're driving. Keeping your elbow straight at night by wrapping a towel around your arm can also help. If you experience these symptoms for more than six weeks, it's probably a good idea to see your doctor. Your doctor will perform a physical examination, and one of those things that we can do is called the Tenel sign, where we can tap over the elbow to see if it induces symptoms. The EMG is a test that can help confirm that diagnosis. So if we've made the diagnosis, how do we treat it? Just like most inflammatory or joint conditions, we often recommend anti-inflammatory medications. Like I mentioned earlier, bracing or splinting can also help. Physical and occupational therapists can help with nerve gliding exercises as well. In some cases, surgery is recommended to take the pressure off of the nerve through an incision like this. That allows us to identify the nerve and alleviate any pressure on that nerve. That procedure is called an ulnar nerve decompression, and we can also perform in some cases what's called a transposition. We take the nerve where it passes over that medial epicondyle and actually move it to a safer place inside of the arm so it has less tension when you're bending your elbow. That's the surgery that I performed on our patient at the beginning of the video, and she went home the same day. After her recovery period, she had no more symptoms. Another case of patient-focused and compassionate care. Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case.